Hall last year for their gala and I did Don't Rain on My Parade and Stephen Reinecke, the musical director and conductor, genius, uh, he said I want you to come back and sing that one more time and we'll figure out when and now is the when with Mr. Andrew Reynolds and there's a lot of 11 o'clock numbers that he's throwing at me. you a little legit. So we've got some Rodgers and Hammerstein, we've got If I Loved You, we've got I Have Dreamed from The King and I. So, you know, there's some little um, old musical theater and lyrical singing sprinkled throughout. And it is sprinkled throughout so I can get off stage, lower that larynx, if you will, have a splash of water, and come on back. Yeah. Every year with the New York Pops, we try to do something that really uh, showcases Broadway and what's going on here and pay, pay homage, pay tribute to uh, uh, the great musical theater in this city. Well, Andrew Rannells and Stephanie J. Block are both Pops Ed ambassadors, so they're kind of like part of the family. They're big supporters of the Pops. They've performed with, uh, with me before, mainly in a gala capacity where they'll come and they'll sing like one song. So this is the first time we've gotten to get together, uh, gotten together and created a show where you know they're featured throughout the whole evening. Um, and they're just two incredible singers. I mean, to listen to them you know, sing Ply Their Trade is, is truly outstanding. I was very fortunate that Stephen Reinecke asked me to join he and Stephanie J. Block um, for this for this concert, and uh, it's really a dream come true. I mean, first of all, to get to sing at Carnegie Hall is unbelievable, and then to be asked what you would like to sing at Carnegie Hall is also really um, amazing. Um, and Stephanie and I have had a really great time putting together with Stephen this sort of set list of songs that we're going to be doing, and we've never worked together, Stephanie and I. Um, we've known each other for years. I've been a fan of hers for a long time, but we've never gotten to work together, so this is, um, it's really thrilling. But there really is a reputation that is attached with Carnegie Hall that you just want to do your best stuff, and it's one night, you know what I mean? So you get one shot, and you better know your lyrics, and you better know the notes on the page, and we got some Stephen Sondheim going on, so um, I got some homework to do. Have any plans to, to return to the stage? I would love to. I would absolutely love to. It becomes a little difficult with like scheduling stuff, as you know. With like particularly with a new show, um, it's a big commitment because you you know you do the. I mean, the Book of Mormon, like all in, it was like two years that I, I worked on that show. So. Um, it's finding the time that you can, can do that. And with the girl shooting schedule, it's a little tricky to say, you know, hey, can I be out for a eight o'clock curtain? Yeah, um, yeah it's, not, it's not that easy. So, so it's a little, hopefully something will time out um, when we're finished with, with this next season of Girls. Maybe there'll be some opportunity in the fall or something. So, fingers crossed. Yeah.